So, many people who know me at this point know that the one one of the things I like to watch when I'm not like watching YouTube or stuff like like stuff on there at least one of the genre um, shows that I like watching are is anime. However, the one that I that piqued my interest in the first place is the only one that I have not ever finished that I actually started. How's it going everyone? My name is Dave and welcome to another video. It seems random for me to bring that up, I'm sure, but I started thinking about this and I, I, I was watching uh, the anime Ruby and it just randomly came to my mind the idea of I still remember back there was a point in time where there was the I still remember the first anime I ever watched and for quite some time I had actually even forgotten the full name of it I literally forgot the two the first two words of it well the first one was the name the second word was well, it's a secret. <laughs> Actually, no. Yeah, that's the exact word, secret. So, the first anime I ever watched was called Nadia, Secret of Blue Water. I never got the chance to finish it because by the time I started watching it, I watched maybe five episodes of it, maybe six. Then came along Sword Art Online, the second anime I ever watched. And when I say anime, anime I am also including things like... Um, Pokemon, Naruto, uh, Legend of Korra, or uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, um, Dragon Ball, I never saw Dragon Ball Z because I didn't like Dragon Ball that much. Um, in any case, yes, I'm including things like that. Nonetheless, second anime I ever watched? is the one that kind of kept me from watching the rest of the first one. Sword Art Online. I got so intrigued by the idea that's of what Sword Art Online was doing, I tried to simultaneously watch both, but got so indelved into Sword Art Online that I ended up stopping. I ended up just kind of... I stopped watching Nadia, Secret of Blue Water. It's probably something I'm actually going to go back and watch, see if I can watch all the way through. But, yeah. When it comes to anime, I have a long history with it. I don't even remember how old I was or when I started watching it. But I was still much younger than I am now. Like, much younger. And yet, it feels like... The more I think about it, the more I wonder why I forgot the title in the first place, when I'm pretty dang sure there are shows I can remember that I haven't seen in years, even more years than that, that kind of started certain things, certain likings of certain types of genres for me, and it makes me wonder why Nadia was the one that got away. The one I could not remember. For example, sitcoms. Now for those who don't understand the idea before I explain this, for those who don't get it, some shows aren't considered this, like um, reality TV shows. A sitcom is basically, you know, well, it's a comedy you sit and watch. Or listen to, one or the other. Hence the literal name, sitcom. <laughs> but a lot of them, a lot of sitcoms nowadays are more considered that of a, um, what is it called? I keep forgetting. I just said it and now I can't remember it. My point is though, we're gonna go with the term sitcom because that's basically 
Um, reality TV show is basically, that's also a sitcom. That's basically, it, it, it's what that is. If you can sit down, and it's a comedy you're watching, and it's a TV series, then it's a sitcom. That's what I go off of. Anyway, first sitcom that really got me into those, or at least this type of sitcom, would be a show called Drake and Josh on Nickelodeon. Ever since that show, I kind of spread more ideas on that kind of stuff, but that was like, that was the first one I ever really watched thoroughly. I don't think I ever technically finished it. Since it being finished is just kind of when the two actors decided we're going to move on, and they kind of stopped doing the show. Um, so I would still consider that kind of the end of the series. Either way, though. I would say that if for some reason, like, that's a good example of what I can remember. And the reason, I found it freaking, the show, hilarious. And it spread my mind towards things like Later on, iCarly, Sam and Cat, Victorious, or on other platforms, Wizards of Waverly Place at the time, um, Sweet Life on Deck, up until, like, several others. But Drake and Josh is definitely the one that got me into that. So, and I could remember that very thoroughly, and I hadn't seen that show. I haven't seen anything on that show in... I can't even say which... <laughs> But then, again, there's Nadia, Secret of Blue Water. Why can I not remember that one? That's like, that's the one that got away from me, mentally, remembrance-wise. And I, honestly, I kind of want to keep a record of it. That's what I'm making here now. There are other examples of, like, like, to compare that, and it makes me wonder even more why I couldn't remember Nadia. Nadia, from what from what I do remember while watching it, I actually did thoroughly enjoy the anime, which also begs the question for me why I never finished it in the first place. I mean, technically, I think it's still... When I found it, it was on Netflix. I think if it still is, I might consider actually going and watching it anyway. Maybe I'll finish it this time around. I don't know. Finish the thing... Finish the one that started it all. But yeah, that's that's the one that got away from me as far as, like, memory and video stuff serves. Do you guys remember what got you guys interested in the show that, or movie that all of you guys first, when you guys first saw uh, a show or movie, or in some cases anime, that piqued your interest in the genre in the first place. Which one was it? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you liked this video, though, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. Uh, if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a video kind of like this about me that you guys like to see on this uh, channel. Let me know in the comments below as well. Want to check out any other videos that I talk about that are about me or random discussions or rants that I have a tendency to go off on, a tangent on, a lot at this point, click the links on the side of my head. Click one, and take it to the one, the other to the other. Mm. Or, if you have not checked out the channel as a whole yet, and you want to consider that for either this kind of stuff, or daily gaming content that I actually do as well, more for comedic purposes, or first-hand reactions, just because people keep asking me for this stuff anyway, Check out the channel as well, because I feel like if you do like this kind of stuff, I think it, you guys would enjoy it. Um, link in the description below and right below my head. Anyways, let's stop rambling. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you guys in another one. Bye for now.